super cool truck is packed we're going camping this is going to be awesome just want to show you how to set up a bell tent that's it hello everybody and we're here camping so just wanted to share this little excursion with you Woo! yes uh, beautiful environment lovely big tree and uh, we brought the bell tent along uh, we're camping at the tucker's grave inn uh, which is sort of close to Bath area. Anyway, uh, in the back of the truck then is uh, a big hairy bell tent. So, um, so a lot of people have got nylon tents, uh, and it's very common. Um, in my most humble opinion, mistake. <laughs> um, nylon nightmares, as I call them, are an absolute pain. They've got so many poles that you've got to thread through things and all the rest of it. Um, people look at bell tents and they go, oh my goodness, you know, this guy's glamping or whatever. And um, to be honest, <laughs> it is a little bit glampy. A lot of people seem to think they're really hard work to set up. That's completely untrue. So what you've got is you've got a grain sheet, um, which isn't bolted in. You've got one pole, a bunch of tent pegs, and a top sheet. Uh, the canvas, uh, you've got one big pole that goes up the middle. First thing you've got to do is get the grain sheet down. And in this box here, we've got some tent pegs. Yay, tent pegs. And all you've got to do really is just sort of temporarily just peg peg it down stop the wind from blowing it off blowing off now um, one thing to note is the door is the longer of the sides so there's a longer side here can you see that and that longer side is going to end up being the door of the bell tent so do we want the door facing the pub or do we want the door facing away you think we should face the pub Okay, so let's spin the grain sheet around. So I'll just pop these two pegs out. Da, da, da. There, something like that. Yeah. Peg for you there, honey. Actually, I lied to you. There's, uh, there's two poles. There's an A-frame as well. But there's a centre pole. So, uh, ouch. Dropped it on my foot. Haven't got my uh, personal protective equipment on. Right, there you go, you can make that. Okay. Uh, the light or the lantern goes on the top there. So yeah, that's perfect, babe, well done. Where's the zippy bit? There it is. That'll be the front which will align with the longer side on this uh, woohoo, chase some stuff down. So what we've got to do is um, line those rubber bands just outside. So you peg it down, I'll show you. That's the ground sheet there, just here. And I've pegged it out a little bit further. Yeah, yeah, you're on it. Good job, excellent. So we've just got to do a bunch of those. Stick the pole up the middle of it, and we're almost done. Woohoo, what a cracking day. Get all of those down. Thankfully, the ground is nice and soft, so it's really easy getting these pegs in. Tent pegs. Uh, these tent pegs here on the left are magnificent. These tent pegs here on the right that bend like this are pretty awful. Um, one thing I like to do is with these bent tent pegs is use them to pull your tent pegs out of the ground so that's that bit done all the pegs are in around the outside based on where the ground sheet marks it out and what we've got to do now is stick our pole in place this is always the fun bit circling around underneath the canvas covers. <laughs> ah, there we go. So 
So that's that done. Now, the other thing that we've got to get in is this second pole, which is an A-frame. Got to go inside, actually. Try and describe it to you. There's a little eyelet that uh, a post fits through. A couple of little bits to tie off at the bottom. <coughs> and another one to tie off on the top. And what we can do is we can remove the grain sheet. Pop inside the bell tent with me. Come on in. Welcome. So that's pretty much it really. Just a centre pole uh, that holds everything up and a bunch of pegs around the outside. We'll guide those out in a minute, make sure everything's nice and bell shaped and flat. Um, and I've taken the, uh, the ground sheet out, there's no need for it because we've got beds that stay up off the floor. Yeah, just case really now of uh, going things out. Yeah, so this is the A-frame and there's a little uh, eyelet and a, and a spike that go in place there. And what I've done is just tied that off there and there's also a couple more tie-off points down here. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna guy this out. So each one of my guy ropes, I tend to tie up very carefully. Now, I don't want to tie this up too tight just yet. In fact, we should do this with the door closed. Otherwise, what happens is you put a load of, um, you put a load of stress on the tent when you try to close the door. So, uh, yeah, let's carry on. <coughs> Sorry? I've got loads more pegs, baby. Yeah. And that can be a nice square inside the tent. <clears throat> okay, excellent. So what we've got here then is a little toggle. And uh, what we can do with this is we can slide up or slacken off. What we want to do is with the door shut on the bell tent is just give that a gentle pull like that. And really, oops, really what you should do is you should do it um, at opposite ends. So I'll do a couple on this side, I'll go around the other side. I'll do a couple on that side. A bit like tightening a wheel on a car. Now, one thing that you'll note, if you put your tent pegs too close to the tent, you'll run out of room to be able to tighten your guy rope. So keep your tent pegs out a little bit if you've got the room, if you've got the space to do that. There you go. Makes you sound like a bass guitar string when you hit them. <laughs> cool. And there we have it. One bell tent set up. Ah, camera lady, come with me. One more thing I'd like to show you. So at the moment we don't need it, it's really warm. But in the winter time, can you see this little adapter, this flange poking out the top of the tent here? That is where we fit a frontier wood burning stove. So in the winter time we can have a hot tent. Okay, so what we've got then is a Van Gogh camp bed, a Van Gogh uh, inflating, self-inflating mattress, and uh, also some Van Gogh um, sleeping bags. And as you can see, this is ultimately what it looks like over here. 
and trust me it's absolutely lovely and it's off the ground makes a world of difference <laughs> tents up and some serious Chinese cooking tailgate tailgate cooking going on thank you Alice Cider George, pass me round the jug. Drink up the cider George, thy garden's well night dug. Okay, so uh, when you've pulled your tent down, uh, it's very important that it goes away dry. So leave it out in the sunshine. That and the ground sheet. There we go. Camp decamped. Strike. The camp is struck.